Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, I got an email from a subscriber, and the subscriber sent the donation. So, thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So, this one says, uh, Mr. Locario, when talking about online dating sites, you always advise to send a woman a first message that talks about getting together for a date. I just recently sent a woman... Uh, I recently sent a message to a woman from Match.com asking her if she would like to get together for a drink. She replied, hi, I think we spoke before, maybe on a different site, LOL. How about we chat first? Then I said, not to my knowledge, I don't think we have. And no, I prefer meeting in person to get the real physical vibe and body language of somebody. 90% of communication is nonverbal. So if you want to meet me, uh, we got to meet in person, um, which is, by the way, what you mentioned in one of your videos talking about this. She then said, well, I don't work that way. I'm not wasting my time on someone I know nothing about and expects uh, me to meet them right away. That's scary for anyone with this online crap. So if you're refusing to talk, then bye. I then replied saying, my goodness, you are mean. See, see now, why do women, why do you women on here have to be so mean? That's one of, if not the biggest reasons why some of you are single. You always demand to have things done your way or the highway. Well, it doesn't work that way. The dating game always comes to the perspective of this is what a guy wants to do because the guy's supposed to be the leader, uh, not the girl. So if all you want to do is get me to chit chat online back and forth talking about a bunch of nonsense without anything actually happening happening that's a waste of time for you and me i don't operate that way and i look for cooperation from a woman with whatever i want to do with them all you want to do is talk no thanks then she said you're the first person to ask for that and refuse to chat um okay it has nothing to do with being mean uh, this is how it works on here. You chat and ask the basic questions, then meet the person. In 2019, I'm not going to meet some random psycho offline that I know nothing about. It's about safety and women have it way worse on here. No, that's the reason uh, you're single being so demanding at, at first. He says, um, I was giving the girl a piece of my mind. Uh, and yours when it comes to getting straight to the point, but this girl didn't want to do that and instead wanted to do that chit chat crap online because she is worried about her so-called safety of meeting people online for dates. My question is, is it a good excuse for women to use uh, to not meet up with me or should I still charge them to the game even though they say they are worried about their safety and want to talk more first or do you recommend a better way to handle stuff like this and overall based on what I said to her did you think I handled the situation correctly <sighs> all right man there's a, there's a lot we got to talk about <laughs> in this okay now First things first, okay? So now, what I'm noticing here, and I actually had a dude call into my live stream a while ago, sort of doing the same thing that you're doing, is that you have to stop explaining the game to women, okay? You guys are not supposed to explain the game to women. You understand? You're supposed to learn the game and then you use the strategy to make things happen in your favor. So what you're doing is you're online explaining the game to woman, to this, to this chick. You understand? Cause she's like, Oh, let's, you know, talk on here first. And you're like, no, we're not going to talk because you're supposed to follow my lead. Cause I'm the man. And this is this guy that I, you know, <laughs> there's this guy, Mr. Locario, who's, who's teaching me that, you know, the women are supposed to follow my lead. And if you just want to talk in it, like, bro, stop explaining the game to women. You understand? You're supposed to just do the strategy. Don't explain. You understand? And then you're getting into like a, a, a back and forth 
kind of like argument with the chick talking about, oh, this is why you ladies are single and blah, blah. Like that's, that's not doing anything for you. You understand what I'm saying? It's not doing anything. So you guys out here, when you learn the game, you learn the game and you apply it, but you don't explain it. You understand? It's like, let's say, for example, you watch, um, I don't know, like a like an Axe body spray commercial. And you remember, like, they have those uh, commercials for Axe body spray. The guy sprays the fucking um, Axe body spray on him. And then a whole bunch of hot girls are, like, chasing him down and all this other shit. You understand? So you watch the commercial. And you're looking at the commercial and you're like, oh, cool. This is, you know, I should buy some Axe body spray. Maybe, you know, if I have some Axe body spray, then, uh, you know, um, chicks will want to fuck with me. See, this is what's happening in your subconscious mind. Even in, in some, and for some guys, they'll consciously just think that, right? But when you watch an Axe body spray commercial, what they don't do is they don't say, hey guys, this is an Axe body spray commercial. So what we're doing here is we have this spray and we're going to spray it on this guy and then we're going to have these hot chicks on here run after him because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get you to think that if you buy our spray, then hot girls are going to want you. They don't do that. You understand what I'm saying? They just do the commercial. So you, you can't be in a situation trying to get with a chick and then explaining what you're doing to try to get her. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like you don't do that. So you don't explain the game to women. You just do the strategy. You understand? You just do what you need to do to make the shit happen with the girl. Right? So, this is the thing. You're saying that your question was, is it a good excuse for women to use to not meet up with, with me? Or should I still charge them to the game, even though uh, they say they're worried about their safety? and want to talk more first. Do you recommend a better way to handle stuff like this? Now, this is what you have to understand. If a chick, if you're on a dating site, you know, Tinder, Bumble, Match, whatever the hell site it is, and you're, you know, conversing with a chick or whatever right usually the the higher her interest is in seeing you the least you gotta talk to the girl you understand what i'm saying meaning if you if you send a message and get straight to the point and say hey what's going on uh you know what are you up to this weekend let's get a drink right she's gonna respond to that she'll be like oh i'm free uh friday drink sounds good right so she's gonna basically go straight for that. She's not going to need to, you know, go back and forth or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Now, there are some women on these sites who are, uh, you know, like in general, women are worried about their safety in general. But what happens is, is that if a chick is really feeling you, right, she is going to come and see you easily. There's not going to be any friction you know, if you tell her, hey, let's meet up Friday, she's going to be like, cool, where, you know, and then you're going to say, here, meet me at this Main Street bar. She's going to be like, all right, cool, I'll see you Friday. And that'll be the end of the fucking conversation. Now exchange numbers, that'll be it. Then you're going to have some women, you say, hey, let's meet up uh, to get a drink. And she's going to be like, oh, uh, can we talk on here more? And I talked about this a lot of different times. I also talked about this on my Bad Boy membership program, you know, advanced online game. And I also have another program on online dating on the bad boy membership called the easy way to date online for men. That's what I'm telling you guys get on the bad boy membership. Right. And so basically, and I've talked about this on other uh, videos too. Basically when a chick says to you, let's talk on here more. Right. Usually it's for a few reasons. One, she can just be an attention whore because she's just trying to chat, chit chat on the, on the fucking site. Um, two, she's interested in you, but she's not, all the way in to the point where she would just meet up with you like the girl I was talking about earlier. The you know, the girl who would just automatically meet you because she's that that interested. So she's sort of in the middle. You understand what I'm saying? Which is why she wanna chit chat more, sort of get to know you a little bit more and all this other stuff, right? Now, again, when you're in that situation and you still want to talk to this girl, I always say don't talk to her on the site. Cause what ha what's happening is is that I always tell you guys you have to make sure that you see if this chick is going to follow your lead, if she's going to cooperate. So by you automatically just, you know, going along with her saying, let's chit chat on here. You got to start talking back and forth. Um, what happens is, is that 
it's you following her. You understand? And now again, I'm telling you guys the game. Do not go on the site and, and the girl says, hey, let's chit chat more. And you say, oh, no, I'm not going to chit chat with you. You're supposed to follow my lead. And but don't do that. Again, don't explain the game to women. You understand what I'm saying? Learn the game and then just actually do the shit. So now what I'm saying here is, is that when a chick says, let's talk on here more, all you do is say, hey, listen, here's my number. Text me or call me, whichever one you want her to do. And we'll talk more and get to know each other more on the phone. Right? So now you're seeing if she's going to text or call. You can tell her, hey, text me now. Or, you know, when are you free to talk? Or, you, okay, you get off of work at six. Cool. Text me or call me at six. We'll talk more. Right? Once she calls and texts you, that's when you set the date. You understand? You don't even need to really talk to her that much. You just set the date. You, she calls you. She says, hey, what's up? This is Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie, what's good? How, how's your day going? She's like, oh, it's been great. Blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. Well, listen, um, what's up for Friday? You free Friday? She's like, yeah, let's get together Friday. Okay, cool. I'll meet you at the Main Street Bar on Friday and be like, hey, listen, Stephanie, it was good talking to you. I got to do a couple things, but I'll see you on Friday. That's it. See, this is the thing. When, when women do that shit, when they talk about, you know, um, Oh, I need to chit chat with you and get to know you more because it's for my safety, blah, blah, blah. They just need the illusion. They need the, the, the feeling that they've gotten to know you. You understand what I'm saying? They need the illusion that they gotten to know you so that they feel better about the situation that they're putting themselves in when they're dealing with you. They don't need to really actually chit chat and talk about a whole bunch of bullshit. But again, this is what I'm saying. You need to know how to lead those interactions and, and, and you know, uh, make those things happen. Right? Because this is what you got to understand. If you're on an online dating site, and let's say, because what you did was she said, hey, let's talk on here more. And you automatically was just like, no, I'm not doing that. You feel what I'm saying? And so... You don't have to do that, but you have to know how to smoothly transition the conversation or the interaction in the direction you want it to go. Because as soon as you said no and you started, you know, explaining the game to her, you took the shit to an, a whole different direction that it didn't need to be in. You see what I'm saying? You, you took it on a whole nother thing. So what you want to do is you want to be able to smoothly transition, you know, from that point to actually setting up the date. Because when she says let's chit chat more, you're thinking, I don't really want to chit chat more. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her my number, tell her to call me or hit me up, which is going to show that she's, uh, you know, taking direction and cooperating. Then when she calls me, I'm going to set the date. So you're still doing what you want to do to set the date quickly, but you're giving her that illusion that she is getting to know you. You understand? So you're basically doing like, you ever, you, you I've talked about this before, you, you guys ever go to the movies and you got a bag with you and then they'll check your bag or they say, let me check your bag to make sure you ain't bringing in no food or whatever it is. And so a lot of times when the people check your bag, you just open your bag up. And they look in like real quick for like two seconds and they're like, all right, you good. Go ahead. They don't really go in and check your bag, but they, they need to have the, the, the feeling or that they got to go through those motions of, of, of feeling like they actually did what they, you know, check the bag. It's the same shit for this. Cause I'm telling you, when you guys are online dating, you're going to, I guarantee you, you're going to run into a chick who's going to say, let's talk on here more. And I'm telling you, when they do that, all you got to do is send them your number, tell them to hit you up. Be like, okay, yeah, we can talk more. Here's my number. Holler at me. When they holler at you, you set the date. Boom. You do what you do. You see what I'm saying? But... <laughs> But you guys, you 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 can't you can't be here explaining the game like this. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're asking, hold on, let me see. You were asking, you know, um, you were saying overall based on what you said to her, did you handle the situation correctly? And you did not handle the situation correctly because you were here explaining the game and getting into 
damn back and forth arguments <laughs> with this chick. You see what I'm saying? And so, see when it comes when it comes to the game, right? You want to like I think I heard I, I can't remember who it was that I heard say this, but I was like, this is absolutely correct. I think it was it might have been a. Uh, Todd V who said this, if I'm not mistaken, when he said that, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're doing, when you're, when you're out here in the game, it shouldn't, or when you're trying to holler at chicks, it shouldn't necessarily look like you're trying to holler at chicks. It's sort of say he's like, when he, he basically said, when you're gaming, it shouldn't look like game. It should just look natural. You understand what I'm saying? And, and so basically what that saying is, is that when you're doing what you're doing, it should just flow. Because if you're taking it out of that context, it takes it out the flow. You feel what I'm saying? It's kind of like if you're watching a movie, right? You get so caught up in the movie and the story, right? Because, you know, the acting's good. The storyline's great. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and, and, and it's flowing very well. The pace is good. You know, you get so caught up in it, right? And then your emotions get caught up in it. And you're just like, damn, that was a good fucking movie. But what happens is, is that when you're watching a movie and, and the acting is terrible and the storyline got a bunch of plot holes or it, it just seems extremely like unrealistic or stupid, Right? It sort of takes you out the movie. You understand? It's it's bringing too much attention to itself to where you're not able to enjoy that experience like how it needs to be experienced. So this is what you did when you're talking to this chick who, who, who was probably interested in you because you didn't know how to smoothly transition uh, that situation into a date. What you did was you started explaining the game, which took her out the interaction and which led it to not go anywhere. So again, when you're learning this stuff, it's for you to know. So, so if I'm saying, look, you got to be, a, 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 you know, take the lead and, and, and guide the interaction. That's for you to know. So all you need to do is when you're talking to the girl, she's saying, Hey, let's talk and hear more. All you need to say to her is like, hey, you know, that sounds good. Let's get together. Let's get to know each other more. Here's my number. Um, I want you to call me and we'll talk more. That's all you need to say. You don't need to, you don't need to say to her, she says, hey, let's talk on here more. You don't know you need to be like, no, we're not gonna talk on here more because you know, men are supposed to lead. And I and I'm saying that you need to like what? Like, what are you, what are you doing? You see what I'm saying? Like you do the thing that you know to do, but you don't explain the thing you're doing. You see what I'm saying? That's not that's not how it works. You understand? You're just doing the thing. The woman doesn't care about all that. You understand? See, this is the funny part. I remember I was talking to this girl one time and you know, she was telling me about some dude she was messing with or whatever. And, you know, she showed me like the text messages he sent and, you know, stuff they were talking about and this and this and that. So basically, the stuff she was saying when it came to um, the guy she was dealing with, she described him and I'm, I'm listening to what she's saying. I'm looking at the text messages and I'm like, yo, this motherfucker is smooth as hell. You understand? Now, all the stuff that he was doing was, you know, stuff that a lot of dating coaches teach. You know, a lot of guys that teach game teach about, you know, interacting with women and getting shit popping. Now, who's to know that this guy, maybe, you know, he, he, he was just that, that good or he, you know, he learned some stuff early. He kept practicing whatever it was. But the fact is, is that he created that experience which led her to want to fuck with him. You see what I'm saying? So let's say for sake of argument, that guy was studying a lot of uh, material on, 
you know, interacting with women, how to have game and all this other stuff, right? Because he knew how to interact with her and smoothly transition into different things and create that type of experience, to her, all she knows is that she met a cool ass dude that, you know, she was attracted to. You understand? So the experience comes off extremely natural. Right? Even though he, he could have been a type of guy who's practiced talking to women, who, you know, who learned all the things that he, he, he you know, was doing. He learned how to make it happen and move the, the conversation in that direction and all that. You understand? But she don't know that. She has no idea. Right? But he's not sitting there explaining to her what he's doing. He's just doing it. You understand? That's what you guys got to do. All right, so guys, listen, you, you guys need to make sure you go on badboymembership.com so you can check out the advanced online game and also the easy way to date online for men so you can really brush up on your online dating uh, skills. You understand? So, And what I'll do is this. Today, as I'm recording this, is February 12th, right? So what I'm going to do is this. If you join the Bad Boy membership from now up until February 14th, which is Valentine's Day, from now up until Valentine's Day, right? Uh, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So from now up until Valentine's Day, if you join the Bad Boy membership, I will throw in my ebook, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day for free because in How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, I also have stuff on there about online dating. You understand? So guys, make sure that you, 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 you jump on this because I'm like, you know, you guys got to stop explaining this game and really understand it and just apply it. So remember, from now up until February 14th, Valentine's Day, if you join the Bad Boy membership, I will give you how to have sex two in a day for free. All right? Click the link below to get the ebook 60 Second Game. In this book, you learn how your confidence, verbal communication skills, appearance, response to rejection, and honesty can affect your game. Click the link below to get your copy today. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership Dot com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com